Hello everyone and welcome to another video on Adam's tutorial series. Today we will be simulating a steward platform. What is a steward platform? A steward platform is basically a parallel manipulator which has six actuators actuating it and we can have either six universal joints and uh, six spherical joints as a combination or else we can have all spherical and also all universal joints so you can see on the screen we have a stewards platform and sorry works I have defined all the joints over here they are uh, concentric joints displays you know, Find it, find it. Yeah. So there's a spherical joint over here, it has been defined with a concentric joint, and for the universal joint at the base, we have coincident and concentric joints. So I have this plus sign over here. Yeah. So I'll just quickly show you. This is moving properly. Just suppress these. Yeah. So you can see, yeah. So the platform is moving. You can make it twist, do whatever you want. It has six degrees of freedom. Now, before jumping into Adams, uh, I just want you to go back and have a look at how to export to Adams because I will be preserving all the joints I've created in SOLIDWORKS and I won't be able to, I won't be creating new joints in Adams. So I'll be just directly using these connections and applying motions to them. So I recommend that you watch that video first, how to export to Adams from SOLIDWORKS. So let's jump into Adams. I'll open a new model existing model so once you save the uh, once you export to Adams you save the file you have this dot ADM extension uh, you just open it okay and you have the model in Adams and what happened to the color the color was supposed to come up yeah sometime it happens yeah. So the main thing what you want to see is that the connectors over here. So all the connections, the concentrate, the distance, constant, everything is here. So as you can see, they are preserved. Great. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna add motions here. So already one motion has been added because if you remember from my last video. I added an actuate a motor while exporting to atoms. That one is still over here. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this one. Alright, so I'm gonna add the motions. Go to motions, then gender motion. Then we have the option of point motion to describe one coordinate or describe all the coordinates. Since it's a prismatic joint and this motion in just one degree of freedom, I'm gonna go and select point motion. Okay, so I have the actuators over here. You can see, okay, let's zoom in. Yeah, so I have this stroke rod, and here. Yeah, the actuator code. Okay. So the stroke rod and the actuator code and the ground. So I'm gonna go for two bodies and one location. The stroke rod and the cover will be my two bodies. I'll pick the geometry feature and it will be a translation. Alright. So let's go ahead. My first one is stroke rod 6. Uh, select the second body, it's not coming. I just right click here. I'll have to go three. Hit OK. Now I need 
to select a marker select location and select the center and along the z axis There we go. Okay, so we have created the motion. I'll go ahead and modify it. Uh, the direction will be along V axis. Let me zoom in over here. You can see. Yeah, along this is the Z axis, the blue colored one. So I'll define using function and just add a little sign to this. Time, close the bracket, otherwise the yellow thing will pop up. Yeah, I'll just make it 15. Okay. Another way of adding motion would be to add it directly from the joints itself, right? So let's say, yeah, I have to have this concentric joint, which is basically a cylindrical joint over here go ahead modify it then you have this impose motion <laughs> click on impose motion and you can see we have two degrees of freedom one is translation along z one is rotation along z because it's a cylindrical joint so for translation along z i will give it a displacement versus displacement as a function of time so I have 15.0 into sine of, you know, just kind of make it a shape. Sine plus 1, or let's say 0 0.5. So just to give it an offset, click apply, then OK. 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 So we have set up two different kinds of motions over here. So remember that this one will create a general motion. For the first one, I have created point motion, but no problem. Now, similarly, add motion to other joints. Okay, so we have completed the connections. Now we can go for the simulation. But before that, I need to get rid of some more connectors over here, like this distance connection, which I added in order to keep it at a certain place. So I'll just get rid of these things. Things. Yeah, one more delete. That's pretty much it. Okay, now uh, another thing to keep in mind is the unit. Oh, it's in meters, so I'll just change it to millimeters. All right, let's do the simulation. Interactive simulation for 10 seconds. Okay, so some more constraints. Did I 
kindness. Uh, here we go. All right. Stop simulation. Um, there we have it. So that's how you do it. simulation for steward platform in atoms uh, you can just play around with the values for the function and motions and you can finally control it that's it we'll see you in the next video hope you enjoyed it and learned something new